I'm Chef Corey Barr. And I'm Whitney Barr. And this is Raising the Bar. Sponsored by Vantage Health Plan. In Raising the Bar, what we want to do is bring you easy, fun, you know, family meals. Yeah. With our baby boy on the mm -hmm. way, we're thinking more about, you know, healthy eating and, and eating at home. Um, so, you know, some of the things that are hardest, I think fish is hard to tackle. Absolutely. Do you cook fish at home? Mm, all the time. No. No. <laughs> no. no. So, um, you know, we're just going to do a little bit of demystifying. So we have a nice little piece of redfish here. And this dish we're doing today is uh, very simple. It's just redfish, kale, lemon, garlic, and some potatoes. Kind of Portuguese in a way. So we'll dive right in. You want to grab the uh, kale. You want to make sure it's in about bite-sized pieces. Yeah, I'm playing sous chef, so let's be clear <laughs> there. Um, we're just going to go really simple right into this. A little bit of olive oil right on top of the fish. How's that kale coming? Great. So it's very hard. So all you're doing is salt and a little Just bit a little bit oil. of salt. We don't add pepper till the end. A little bit of olive oil in the skillet here. Turn our heat to medium high. It's about 350, 360 degrees. All right, let's see that. That looks good. I'd say you're good there. You want to slice some garlic for me? Yes. There's a big knife. There's some <laughs> garlic. Take the little, uh, hey, so these little parts right here, you don't want to use because they don't taste good. They're no. woody. So just pop them over in there and slice about half that garlic. Okay. She's a very organized sous chef, everybody. You got to get all the butts off first. <laughs> All right, so we're hot here in this skillet, so we're just going to go. Let's check it. Yeah, we're good to go. So this is a one skillet dish. I know that's uh, that's important for us and important for a lot of y'all out there. One skillet, not a lot of mess. You can use four fillets. We're using two today. Go ahead and have your oven preheated to 350 degrees as well. You're doing a good job. Just a little thinner, though, about half that thickness. You don't have to go back over them. Just, I mean, good luck. Yeah, just do that again. I don't want to cut myself. Here, I'll do it then. This is how husband and wives really work in the kitchen. <laughs> he sees I can't do something, so he takes it over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. My knife skills are not like that. Oh, come on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You, so always... you. you want it nice and thin? So it will get aromatic and a little bit crispy. All right, so that's about all we need. Okay. About six cloves. So as our fish is searing, everything else is really done. I'm gonna, you can cut the lemon. You wanna cut the lemon? I can do that. Okay, just cut it in half, no need to roll it. Oh. Because the heat's gonna do that for us. Yep. So what's the hardest thing about cooking a perfect piece of fish? So knowing when the fish is done and not overcooking it. I think most people out there overcook their fish. Um, it just needs to be lightly, lightly cooked. About a medium well to medium, really. On a redfish like this, you'll know when it just lightly flakes, but I'll show you that after it comes out of the oven. Nice. You just got to keep an eye on it. There is no like, oh, a few yeah, minutes but, on this side and a few minutes on that side. Right, but it's rule of thumb, something an inch or under, it's about four minutes each side, but okay. we're going to slow roast this in the oven. So we're only going to sear it on yeah. one side and then take it off. So it's, it's a really easy process. Yeah, get that crispy. And it's going to be slow roasted, so it won't be so much crispy. We're just getting a nice little sear. Oh. Yeah, you can cut the potatoes. How do you so want here, to cut? I'll show you how I'd like the potatoes cut. Okay. All right. Just like that. And use this part of your knife only, all right? Why? Just because it's... Uh, yeah, because you have more control. When you raise your knife up high, you have a more likelihood of cutting yourself. You just want to go in there like that, okay? Okay. And while you're doing that, I'll take a look at the fish. Another little tip right there is the if the fish is still sticking to the skillet, it's not time to turn it, so we'll just let that go. You're fired. What? <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> that looks great. Better than you would have done it. Absolutely. All right, so this is nice. 
Again, we're not getting too much color on this right now. We just want a nice little sear, just like that. So into our same skillet that we have right here, we're not gonna change a thing. We're gonna add a little bit more olive oil, just a touch. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add our potatoes. We're gonna let those sear. And about how long will that take? About four or five minutes. You know, all together for the whole dish is under 20 minutes. Uh, nice. So for those of you, your parents at home or whatever, and if you don't have kale, you can use spinach. And if you don't have spinach, you can use arugula. If you have really great collard greens or any kind of green like that, you can use it in here. It's very simple. Nice. Yeah, I use my hands a lot when I'm cooking because that's really the best instrument God ever gave you to cook with. <laughs> and uh, I, I really enjoy that. So. Uh, into the same skillet, we're going to add just a pinch of salt and we'll season it again at the end. So, um, you know, if you're cooking salmon, it's a high fat fish. You got to use a lot of high temperature on it. So olive oil is not necessarily the best oil to use, um, but with like a piece of redfish or trout or something like that, and you're using low heat, we're not really trying to get a hard sear on it. Um, and you're not using very, very high heat, it's not gonna burn. Mm -hmm. So it won't become acrid or bitter. So olive oil is okay to use. In the restaurant, we use a blend of 75%, uh, you know, vegetable oil to 25% olive oil, which gives us the best of both worlds, really. So what would you use for a fattier piece of fish? Uh, for a fattier piece of fish, grapeseed oil, canola oil works good, any of that. So this looks nice. And we're just going to give these a little shake. All right. We're going to add some chili flakes, just a pinch. These are Aleppo pepper. Really enjoy them a lot. You want to add them and let them bloom. Anytime you're using chili flakes, such as crushed red pepper, Aleppo, Korean chili flakes, anything like that, you're gonna add them to your oil before you add anything else because you want the flavor to bloom. Some of our greens in there. Not too many, you don't wanna crowd the pan, mm -hmm. you wanna add it in batches. Mm -hmm. Gotta piece. run away. <laughs> yeah, road piece. And this won't take long, this, this, this part. No, this is, this is fairly simple. All we're trying to do is wilt the greens, mm -hmm. put our fish back on there, re-season, pop it in the oven about five minutes and we're done. I think most people have the conception that whenever you eat healthy, you have to deprive yourself of really delicious food. Mm, yeah. But you don't. Yeah, I mean, eating healthy is a choice, but it's also, you know, it's educate. Look, we're just here to show you that good food is simple. Good yeah. food is easy and anybody can eat great food with just a few simple ingredients, really. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of black pepper all right, we're gonna place our lemons in here, just like that. We didn't squeeze the lemons just yet, because mm -hmm. what we're doing, like you were rolling that lemon, there's yeah. really not a need to do that. We're gonna go ahead and place our garlic in as well, excuse me. Again, while we're placing the garlic in at the end is we don't want it to burn. All right, so again, let me go back to the lemons. The reason when you were rolling them, I told you not to, is because what we're gonna do here is heat the lemons up, mm -hmm. and that'll help them release their yeah. juices, and that'll make the sauce for the end, so you don't have to have a separate bowl for the sauce. Okay. Look at this great color. Can we just admire that? And we're gonna place these fish fillets right back in here. We're gonna re-season them with a touch of pepper. Touch of crushed red pepper. It's not too spicy. The Aleppo pepper is kind of sweet, really. And this is gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about seven or eight minutes. So uh, seven, eight minutes, 350 degrees. It's time to check it. That looks oh, yeah. great. Oh, that, that does look great. great. So this is what you're looking for right here. When you press that fish and it gives just a little bit, perfect. You know you've got it. So we're just gonna plate this up, set our lemons to the side. 
with some of that potato. Mm -hmm. And some parts, now you heard that crunch right there. Let me get this over here. Some parts of the kale got nice and crispy and that's what you're looking for because you don't want everything to have the same texture. Now, if you don't want to use potatoes, you could use other hearty vegetables, you know, like cauliflower, broccoli, anything like that really goes well with it, especially with lemon juice and olive oil. So those things are perfect. They're in season right now, as a matter of fact. All right. Now, like I said, if you want to do this at home, you know, I'm a chef. We got asbestos for hands, really. But uh, you take one of these lemons you just squeeze it into your spoon like this push your finger over just a little bit of lemon juice no rolling no mess some olive oil right on there because everybody likes a little bit of olive oil that looks great i'd eat that four nights a week oh goodness <laughs> yeah it's nice and simple and uh and anybody can cook that oh yeah so a little bit of dill's good I on there. I love dill. Who that doesn't is one love of my dill? favorites. Why is dill your favorite? Do you have a reason for that? Well, I mean, I love the color for one, but the flavor that it brings. Yep, yeah, it's nice. It tastes like spring and summer to me. Yeah. There you have it. This is our simple pan roasted fish with kale and potatoes. Uh, and it's, it's really a one pan wonder. Mm -hmm. When it comes to a family dinner, Anybody can do this. You've got some great tips and let your imagination be your guide. Really, whatever you're in, in the mood for, this technique works. Absolutely. Hey, y'all be sure to tune in next time for Raising the Bar. We've got lots of new fun recipes coming your way. Me and my wife will be cooking in our home kitchen, also in our restaurant. So we really look forward to y'all joining us. The end. <laughs>